Hey, it's Rolf Great here at PAX Unplugged 2018. Right now I'm here with Jeff of Guerrilla Games, and you have a brand new second edition of Battle Stations, which you are the designer of. Yes, sir. And if, for people who don't know, I was hoping you could talk us through Battle Stations and what exactly is different in this new edition from the original one. Sure. Well, Battle Stations, for people who don't know it at all, is the game of heroic starship adventure where you get to be a character on board a starship. And your character moves around on the hex map. Sorry, your character moves around on the starship while your ship moves around on the hex map. So it's, it's really, it integrates, uh, it's a role-playing board game hybrid and it's a space game uh, uh, aboard a starship game simultaneously. Uh -huh. What makes it special in second edition is that we, we originally released it in 2004 and I had 12 years to find out what I did wrong. And people loved it, and then we just made it better. And one of the fun things for me that is that there used to be ships moving at kind of a slower pace, and I didn't realize how slow they were until I tried to speed them up. But one of the mistakes I made was I had this intricate movement system, which was really a brilliant piece of game design, mm -hmm. um, which I always had to correct people on, because they always said, oh, ship speed three, so I go three hexes, right? And I always had to say, no, 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 no. There's this really convoluted thing that I designed that I'm proud of. <laughs> and so I got the chance to say, oh, yeah, everybody who asked me was right. If you're going three, you go three. So now <laughs> ships are faster and the game's just a lot more fun. Also, uh, we updated the art, it's uh, one inch modules, and to go to one inch uh, size squares so it would fit the, the, uh, the bigger minis, mm -hmm. we got, um, I had to do some stuff to make the ships fit on the table better, which ultimately made the game better. So it was like a, it was a win-win. It's kind of one of those situations where sometimes you gotta kill your darlings a little bit and to streamline things. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it. Those minis are, are really, really cool, by the way. I noticed, I noticed some of them are painted, uh, they're pre-painted. Uh, they they don't come painted in the okay. box. No, no. It's, uh, these are, and if you, see, you can see I painted, a, I paid a guy to paint some of them they, that are painted well, and then oh, yeah. I, I painted some myself that are painted, <laughs> let's say, less well. But you kind of get the idea. It's uh, probably much better than I could do myself. That's uh, not oh, my forte. <laughs> Uh, for the game Battle Stations, the original and the new one, what are some of your were your influences in designing it, both in theme and maybe even in the mechanics from the RPG side or the board game world? Since it's kind of a melding of the two. It, it very much is. Well, I played Starfleet Battles and I loved it. Uh, one of the things I didn't like was that my ship would get shot and my ship would get hit here, as opposed mm -hmm. to me. I'm in the helm and I got shot. So I wanted that more immediacy of it. So it, it kind of zooms in from there. And from the other end of it, as I was running a role-playing game, and the mm -hmm. characters finally got a starship, and it was going to be interesting, but then I realized I had no rules for how a starship really would work in a role-playing game. That most, I haven't seen anybody yet that's eaten my lunch on this that has made a star, starship game, role-playing game, where it really works well together. You know, there's, there's some yeah. really great role-playing games and some really great licenses, and I love to be in those worlds, but it's kind of sad that the starships just feel more like, okay, we'll roll these dice and roll high, as opposed to, okay, I'm seven hexes away, I need to roll a seven. You know, right. that kind of <laughs> real... So that's where I come at it from both as a real board gamer and a real role player, and kind of in, in the middle is where, uh, is where I meet. Yeah, I can see that for sure. And now you also have a new addition to the game. Uh, please talk to us about this. Dirt Side, Battle Station's Dirt Side is going to be awesome. It already is awesome. It <laughs> already. is. Uh, so we've been flying around in space doing these battles and going between planets, and I s realized that eventually we have to get to the planets. There's got to be something interesting there. And so there's this, and this is something that's been, people have been telling me I should do for years, and I've said, oh yeah, I should do that. And then about two years ago, it suddenly clicked for me that it's where I want to be. You know, that this, mm. this is interesting and fun, that each of the planets has its own unique thing. High gravity, low gravity, dangerous fauna, different interesting, you know, psionic monsters. And so you can take a, a pretty simple game and have it happen on, depending on what world you're on, uh, you can rearrange the tiles. I got some tiles here. So oh, you yeah. got the tiles that you can fit together, and so you got nine tiles to make a planet. So it's going to make it uh, really unique. Each planet feels different, and then mm -hmm. each of the missions is different, and so that combines for great replayability. Uh, another huge factor in that for me was that uh, Battle Stations, people wanted to play it solo or uh, unmoderated. Sure. And I, I had never really worked it out as much as I had liked, but in uh, Dirt Side, because I don't have another starship to deal with, a lot of the AI just gets simplified down. You know, that the things are mostly gonna come after you and attack you, or go do their thing, but you don't have to worry as much about uh, the kind of, uh, the nitty gritty of running a starship. Having said that, there are starships in uh, uh, Dirt Side that you're gonna be running yourself, and so 
some missions there's a starship, some missions there's not. It's really, it's, it's like all the sci-fi planetary action you could hope for. <laughs> That's a lot. I could hope for a lot. Good. <laughs> now, since, since 2004, is Battlestation something that you've kind of been thinking about, refining in your mind, or was this really like a, a revisiting fresh for you to look and think, what could I add that would really improve on this? And what was that like? Uh, there's, it, it's really, I've been living in this space, it's been in my head since even before I started designing it. That this yeah. is, you know, I, I used to watch uh, Star Trek and Star Wars and uh, funny thing about um, uh, Serenity, um, a Firefly, sure. we released Battle Stations right before we saw Firefly for the first time. And when we released it, people said, oh my god, you were so influenced by Firefly. And I said, <laughs> no, I wasn't, but man, I love Firefly now. And it served to influence a lot of the later uh, expansions and stuff. That's cool. So it, it's, it's really just kind of where I am and where my design space is. And when uh, the dirt side sort of bubbled up to the top of that's what I'm doing now and I'm mm. really excited about being there. Yeah, of course Firefly was itself influenced by Star Wars and a yeah. hundred other yeah. <laughs> sci-fi things. So it's cool to see all the influences creep in here and there. Uh, so where and when and how can people buy Battlestation 2nd Edition? <laughs> Battlestation 2nd Edition is available right now at your friendly local game store. It's also available through our uh, web store at GorillaBoardGames.com and it's also available on Amazon, but <laughs> I don't get as much money from that. Um, and uh, there's also probably going to be some battle stations available when you get the uh, Dirt Side Kickstarter, which is launching in early 2019. Very exciting. Uh, definitely looking forward to that. Definitely check out Battle Stations. If you're here at PAX Unplugged or elsewhere, you can look in those places. Uh, how you guys been enjoying the show so far? It's been uh, it's, exciting. It's great. The, the people here are really cool. I haven't been to a PAX yet, so I just I feel like it's a weird sort of coming home to a different home that I didn't know was my home. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel. Uh, yeah, like going, when we went to Gen Con for the first time, you, yeah. you kind of feel that sense of belonging. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much for thank talking you. to us. The game is Battle Stations, and this is Roll for Crit. To catch more interviews like this one from PAX Unplugged 2018, please like and subscribe to Roll for Crit. And don't forget to check us out and follow us at Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, all at Roll for Crit.